Hey, Phil Ebener here with VideoSchoolOnline.com and today I'm going to show you how to use the new auto ducking, well, new-ish auto ducking feature in Premiere Pro so that you can quickly make your music and your audio or your dialogue levels sound great. So here in Premiere Pro, let me just quickly show you what auto ducking looks and sounds like. So here I have a video just I put quickly together with some sample intros and outros and then a quick graphic in the middle. So if you play through this video, I'm going to be talking, then there's going to be a title card with just the music and the graphic, and then I'll start talking again. Let's jump over to the computer to learn how. Well, I hope you really enjoyed so notice how when I was speaking, the audio was a little bit quieter and then it boosted when I wasn't speaking and then it went back down the audio that the music that is when I started speaking again. And that's what ducking really means is you're adjusting the audio level so that when someone is speaking in a video or really any other effect, a sound effect or anything, you are dropping the audio of the music or the level of the music down so you can hear the dialogue better. And this is done automatically now with this new feature in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. So how does this work? Well, I'm going to go in and actually undo a couple things. So we're back at the original version of this video before we did anything. What you want to do is make sure you have the essential sound panel open. If you don't see that, go up to window essential sound. And now this is a relatively new panel too for the past year or so or a couple years in Premiere Pro CC. And this has a lot of great presets and effects that you can apply to your audio. So if you go in there and you select an audio clip, you can see that you can assign an audio type to the selection. You can apply ducking to the music type. So if you have music in your timeline, go ahead and select that music and then choose music to assign it as music. Now you'll see that there is a ducking option here. So if we check this on, it's going to have some options for what we want to duck the audio against. So you have options like you want to duck it against dialogue, against other music, against sound effects, against any ambiance clips, or anything at all that is not assigned an audio type. So since we haven't assigned anything else an audio type, then what we would want to do is choose this duck against clips without assigned audio type option. And you can select multiple if you want just by clicking them on and off. If we had gone in here and selected these two audio clips where I'm speaking on camera and assigned it as dialogue, then we could have gone into our music and selected duck against audio dialogue. Once you have selected what you want to duck against, you have to choose generate keyframe. So I'm going to do that first before we dive into these other sliders. And you'll notice when I do that, it created these keyframes on the music track that brings up the audio levels when I'm not speaking. Let me just go back really quick and select these two clips that I had assigned the audio type as dialogue and I'm going to clear that audio type. So now we're back at the beginning. These haven't been assigned anything. So if I go into my music track again, and now I say generate keyframes to duck against dialogue clips, nothing happens. And that's because these weren't assigned as dialogue. So I just wanted to show you that if you're trying to auto duck and you haven't assigned anything, that's why nothing's happening. But if I do check duck against clips, any clips that haven't been assigned, and now I generate keyframes, we still get the same effect being applied where it's ducking against this audio. So now we have these sliders that can adjust how this ducking works. So first, moving bottom to top, I think it's a little easier. If I zoom in here, you can see that these keyframes are set to create this sort of short 800 millisecond fade. If I increase this, say 1,000, and then say generate new keyframes, see how this fade has increased? So it's going to fade in longer. So depending on how abruptly you want the fades of the ducking to go, you can adjust the fades slider. Next, you have reduced by. This is going to adjust the level of the volume that's actually being reduced. So if I put negative 30, for example, and then choose generate keyframes, notice how the outside parts of this clip, the parts underneath the dialogue, 
is decreased even more. So I'll just go even more so you can see that negative 50, generate keyframes. See, now it has adjusted more. And this is going to depend on how loud your audio source is and things like that. So you might have to play around with what sounds best for your audio. So negative 50 is really, or negative 48 is really low. Uh, you can barely even hear it. So something like negative 24 might be better. So that sounds pretty good. Now sensitivity, that has to do with how sensitive the ducking tries to be depending on the audio of your dialogue or the other audio. Say I set this to one, say generate keyframes. It doesn't do that good of a job at picking which audio we need to duck against. So it's not that sensitive. It's not sensitive to this audio. Let's go in there and try two just to show you what happens. Again, it's finding this audio over here to duck against, but not this audio over here on the left. Let's just go up to five and see if that works. So now that works for this clip. So this is very sensitive. It's adjusting to the dialogue and it's sensitive to that. Let's just go up to 10, see what that does. And again, it does a, it makes a minor change. It actually fades up and out the audio a little bit too far from the dialogue. So I think five was better for me. And that's going to depend on your clips, of course. So make sure you pay attention to that sensitivity slider. If for some reason it's not ducking where you want it to, try adjusting that to see if it works. So that's pretty much how you use this auto ducking. The cool thing is if you make any changes or edits, say I move this outro over and there's more time that you need to be ducked, then just go into your music clip again and choose generate keyframes. And there you have it. It's automatically applied this ducking to the area that you want it to duck. Cool. So that's the auto ducking feature in Premiere Pro. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for more. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below in the comments. And if you're looking to take your skills to the next level, make sure you head over to videoschoolonline.com where we have premium courses, more free tutorials and articles, guides, and all kinds of stuff that will help you become a better creator. Thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful day.